as probably many of you, I have some issues in getting a proper haircut nowadays, but this is no reason not to make another video for you. Today the video is about the flying officer. It's the predecessor of today's pilot officer. The watches are fairly equal, however the flying officer is no longer available. Hello and welcome to WatchMaxi's watch videos. My name is Axel and I'm glad to have you on the show. If you're interested in German watch brands and you do like my videos, now would be a perfect point in time to subscribe to my channel. You can do this at the lower right corner during the whole video or at the upper right corner at the end. The origin of Guinan's flying officer has been a watch with a 24 hour dial. That's not so common and not so easy to read, so you need to get used to it to quickly identify the time of the day. So Guinan decided to offer a 12 hour dial, which a manual winding movement. The watch I would like to present today is a flying officer with a 12 hour dial and an automatic movement. This watch is no longer on offer, it was a limited edition. However, the successor, the pilot officer, with a nearly identical dial and face at exactly identical measures, is still on offer, so the watches can well be compared. And now I would like to introduce you into the watch I was able to take pictures of, and that's the flying officer automatic movement of Guinness. The watch has a stop second hand out of the center. On the three o'clock position, you have the 30 minutes counter of the stop time. At the six o'clock position, you have the 12 hour counter of the stop time. And on the nine o'clock position, you have the permanent running second hand of the regular timekeeping. The watch is water resistant up to 10 bar, which equals 100 meter, has a, a diameter from edge to edge of 37.5 millimeter. From the front to the bottom, the height is 14 millimeter. It comes with a lug width of 20 millimeter and the size and the weight without strap of 67 gram. The watch has broad hands, which facilitate the legibility, has a matte dial. The pushers and the crowns are non-protected, which supports the, the a little bit more dressier approach of the watch. So the watch is not as bulky as sports watches with protection. The lug width is 20 millimeter. The sapphire is slightly domed. It's not completely flat. And the watch case itself is polished and a little bit shiny. The back allows a view to the nicely decorated movement and the rotor has the Gino logo on it. So it's not a fully standard movement, but nicely decorated. As you can see, it's a flying officer with a text hergestellt in Deutschland. The successor of it has the pilot officer name on it and Frankfurt am Main instead of hergestellt in Deutschland. Hergestellt in Deutschland translates into produced in Germany.
the watch which is today available, the Pilot Officer, has a price tag of 1790 euro on a leather bracelet. There is no option for an integrated steel bracelet with integrated end links. There is a steel bracelet with flat end links. Um, not anybody likes it, uh, nor do I. So uh, you can have a steel bracelet, but no integrated end links available. The watch comes with a sapphire crystal at the front and the back and a movement which is either a Valjoux 7753 or a Zelita SW510. Guinan is not very precise on that point. They uh, build into the watches the movement which is available. So you can get either or and from my perspective both are good.